This is the monument of a hero, leader, and of General Juan Anacleto Araneta. He is one of our local revolutionary leaders during the El Cinco de Noviembre. My real talk, my real talk. The cradle of Negros Revolution, Silay City. This was known because this is where the Revolutionary Council was formed, headed by Nicolas Goles, the Deputy Military Commander, Malicia Severino, the Secretary, and Leandro Luxin, the fundraiser and treasurer. What you can see here is the formation Luxin that is located at the city of Silay. It was owned by Leandro Luxin, where Negranza secretly planned for the revolution against the Spanish authorities. It was the Cinco de Noviembre that ushered the Republica Cantonal de Negros or Republica Negranza in short. And there comes that the Revolutionary Council in Negros, which is closely coordinating with their Iloilo comrades, was requested to launch hostilities against the Spanish forces. That's why General Aniceto Lacson of the Lisay rode to Silay on November 3. And there they agreed that the pricing should begin on November 5, 1898. General Lacson was lead to the revolutionists from the Northern Negros and General Araneta from the Southern Negros. And the Spanish forces from North surrendered without a fight. End of November 5, General Lacson with his forces marched to Bacolod crossing the Mandalagan River. At the same time, General Araneta and his troops took positions at the Lupit River. The plan is to corner General De Castro. This is the Palacio Episcopal, currently known as the Bishop's Palace that is located at the city of Bacolod, wherein the Spanish military and civic officials sought their refuge during the revolution. This is where the governor Isidro de Castro together with his troops and other Spanish families made their last stand. On November 6, the Great Bluff happened. General Juan A. Araneta took with him a real-looking cannon made of Amakan painted in black, while his armies also have rifles with them. This was mistaken by Governor De Castro and his forces as real armaments so thinking they will be defeated anyway, they just surrendered. And in that afternoon, the formal ending of Spanish rule happened. independence with the help of our local revolutionary heroes. So we, the Bagonans and Negrenses, must value and protect our freedom from foreign aggression. Just like the house of our General Juan A. Araneta, which stood at time. Our pride as a free people shall always remain and never be forgotten. So once again, I am Marielle, and this is my real talk, Marielle Talk. My real talk, Marielle Talk.